You know, I also wanted to expound upon the social media politics a little bit further in terms of if you're thinking about trying to make money on social media or if you're just equating social media and likes and followers and subscribers to success. Followers, likes, subscribers, all that type of stuff is great, but it doesn't necessarily translate into money. So the people who I know in my personal life who have the most money and make the most money, they don't even have a lot of some, they don't even, they, some of them don't even have social media. And some of them who do have social media, they just are on there. They're not on there trying to make money on social media or anything like that. So it's like getting a bunch of followers, getting a bunch of likes, getting a bunch of attention on social media does not equate into money. Creating a revenue stream is something that's done through skill set and it's something that's done through, uh, you know, plan and strategy. So having a bunch of subscribers on social media, I see people on YouTube or I see people on Instagram. They have a ton of attention. They have a ton of subscribers and I'm already knowing they're broke. So it's like, what's the point of having 100,000 subscribers on YouTube if you can't make any money on it? You know what I mean? If you got 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, you should pretty much not have to have a regular job. So for me personally, and that's if you don't want to have a regular job, some people actually like what they do for a living. So for me personally, I just think that people have a misunderstanding about what success is nowadays because they get caught up in this social media world. And in reality, social media is not real life. It's just social media. It's just something that you kind of tune into on your phone from time to time. People aren't showing their real lives on social media. They're just showing the highlights of their lives. And one of my homeboys just sent me a text earlier and it was talking about how um, somebody could basically everybody has their financial game backwards. And it's like people will go out and break the bank to go buy a brand new vehicle posted on social media. They might get 600 likes. They might get a thousand likes on social media because they bought that brand new vehicle. But somebody else, on the other hand, could take that same money and invest it into a Roth IRA or they can invest it into the stock market, maybe invest in a cryptocurrency. And they're in a the long game. They're going to be the ones making money on that. But that's not going to get any likes on social media. So you kind of got to take all these things into consideration that social media is not real life and that getting involved in politics and trying to appease people on social media and not be authentic to who you are just to try to get some likes or to try to do things to go out of your way to do things or make posts just to kind of get in with a circle or trying to get in with a group on social media or participate in all these crazy challenges that don't really have anything to do with anything that's authentic to you. These type of things are kind of frivolous in my opinion. And, you know, trying to gain a huge following, nothing wrong with trying to get a, a, a huge following if you want to make money off it. Or, you know, if you kind of want to influence people to do things in an authentic and, you know, forthright manner, but trying to do it to gain a cult of personality or to try to get attention, that's the wrong reason to do things. And also, like I said about the politics and collaborations and participating in a lot of group activities, a lot of people try to hide in groups because it's easy to kind of be a part of something and to not have the owners be upon yourself. But if you're a lone wolf and you kind of go in your own lane or you kind of do things in your own way and you stay authentic, I think there's a lot more to gain out of that. You, It might be a slower process and you might not rise to the top as quick. Uh, but as they say, the cream always rises to the top. So if you're on point in terms of what you do in whatever field that you're in or whatever niche field that you're in and you know you have the skills you have the right mindset you're an authentic person and you're putting all that out there eventually you're going to get to the top and eventually like i said the cream rises to the top you can't keep a good man down forever um and a lot of people have instant overnight success and it's not sustainable it's a marathon it's not a sprint all right y'all peace